Today I'm talking about some recommendations for mounting your camera for doing vlog style stuff like this. Now these are like budget setups, so if you don't have a whole lot of money, these would be great ways for you to like position your camera without a whole lot of money. And then I'll give you a few tips on how to position your camera to best utilize, you know, like the, the best way to set it up if you're doing a stand up thing like this. So if you're not using the fancy jib thing so you can do all this stuff, uh, this is what most people are doing. They have a static position camera and they just talk to it. When I'm doing my A4Q episodes, that's how I do. I have a static camera position. The camera is mounted on an L bracket right on the wall, right in my office. The lights are all hanging from the walls. Somebody's got a question, I go in there, flip the lights on, put an SD card in, uh, hit record, answer the question, stop, post it on the internet, super fast. But what about when I'm out and about? I don't usually bring a tripod with me. I bring tripods when I'm doing very specific things, but just a day to day, I'm gonna go out and do a shoot just for fun, do a little vlogging maybe. I don't, I don't bring a tripod. What I use is a monopod. This is a video style monopod. It's got the little feet down there. This allows me to move around in crowds without the legs interfering. I can move around. I can use this as a selfie stick. It's not as in the way as another, like a larger piece of equipment. Now this one, I really like this one. This is one of my favorite video monopods I've ever used. I like it way better than the Manfrotto one. Um, super happy with it. I, I oftentimes use this head on there and this is just a generic cheap ball head that's in the $20-ish range, $20, $22. Uh, it's under a whole bunch of different brands. You can find them on eBay and Amazon and everywhere, but they're all the same ones. They have like this little notch in here. Some are blue, some are gold, but they have two knobs. I, I prefer one, and then it has another knob for your pan, which is kind of what I'm looking for in a ball head is separate pan. It holds the camera and it has an integrated Arca Swiss adapter on it. That saves, every, saves me so much time because my entire system is, is around Arca Swiss. Now, this is a little pricey for most people, um, especially if you're just starting out or whatever. And, but what if, what if you're on the budget and you wanna kinda of have a similar way to be able to move around, get some of those you know, like one of the ways I like to use this is if I'm in a crowd, I can get that camera way up there above the crowd and kind of get that bird's eye view shot. What if you want that versatility and you're on a really tight budget? So I looked around, looked around, uh, and tripods, budget tripods are normally too low. So when I set up a camera, I'll usually have the lens right about eye level or slightly below most of the time and that seems to kind of give uh, a good look to the image and then i can move i can move around in there i have it slightly tilted down so if i move back a little bit i don't i'm not framed really weird um, it it works out pretty well if you have um if you have a low tripod though, you get this up the nose, like looking up on the person. Uh, they're kind of looking down on you. I really don't, like I want to talk to you guys. I don't want to like, like be like imposing right, you know, like talking down to you. That just doesn't feel right. Um, having it up, it's kind of a cool angle, but also it, it doesn't quite have the right feel. So getting a tripod or monopod that can get the lens right about at your eye level and then tilting the camera down slightly is my favorite way. Now when I'm walking back, I'll usually bring the camera down a little bit. That seems to look better to me. But say you can't afford this and you want a cheaper alternative, and this is what I came up with. This is a light stand. It has a normal 5 8 inch baby pin on the bottom like every most light stands but it also has a quarter 20 threaded 
little part sticking out, which allows us to adapt it to 3816 and put a normal tripod head on it. And then it's a light stand, so it's lightweight. It's easy to move around. I don't have it opened up all the way. It's not perfect, it, but it will allow you to get your camera positioned at a height that is more conducive to get that camera at the level that you want. Now, if you just let go of it, it kind of wobbles a little bit, especially if you don't have sand or something else on it. Um, so it's this isn't perfect. It wouldn't be great in windy conditions probably. But if you mount your camera on there and you're vlogging, you you hit you know you hit start and then you just kind of stabilize it with your finger for a second, it'll settle out. And now you could talk to your camera just like I am here. The camera would stay put in that position and it would be high enough so you're not looking like this or or doing some weird angle. You get that camera kind of where it looks best, which, which is your eyes, in a close-up at least, having your eyes in that camera at their eye level or just slightly below, and having your eyes about at the upper third in your rule of thirds. Uh, as you move away, you're gonna have to bring it down a little bit. Uh, that's kind of why I prefer to have it at eye level and slightly tilted down. So when I walk away, I'm not like way down here. So for instance, if I put it at eye level and I frame this kind of the way I like it, and then I walk away, I start to get too much headroom. So I usually tilt it down slightly um, unless I know I'm just gonna stay in this position right here. So what are the components? This is pretty much any like cheap lightweight light stand that's six foot or more. This is a seven footer. Key ingredients here are the light stand has to have a quarter 20. This is the same uh, thread and size that your camera takes. Tripod heads, the standard threads for those is a 3 8 inch 16 threads per inch, 3 8 16. And this little Geodos ones comes with a 3 8 16. The new, one of my new favorite ones, this little Colorado Tripod Company head comes with a 3 8 16. And this generic kind of uh, head, 3 8 16. Depending on what you're using, if you're using a phone, uh, this system would be great. Just get one of these plastic or aluminum. I don't really like this plastic one. I don't have a problem with it. Put a ball head on there, a small one. You don't anything big. A uh, point and shoot would be good. Although if I'm doing point and shoot, I'm most likely gonna want it on a quick release. Now I could put uh, this bracket on this head, which would work great. So this is probably the most versatile and inexpensive option. The one issue that this has is it doesn't come with the adapter, this little threaded adapter. These are pretty inexpensive and should be able to pick these up uh, at the same time as you buy the head. Uh, the little Geodas thing comes with the adapter when you buy it. The This one doesn't, which is a little bit of a bummer, but it does come with this like neoprene like case. Now. I don't know how often I would use this case. I would rather have the adapter personally, but it's kind of awesome. It, it helps protect it. And the fit and finish on here, the knurling, the knurling and the way this feels is kind of awesome, S especially for like as inexpensive as it is. The way you put this together is you just take your light stand, you take the little adapter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna screw it on there then you wanna make sure that this is tight, otherwise it'll just be spinning. And you put that on your, on your light stand, just snug it up, and now you have your own little like lightweight monopod that you can move around. You can use this to position your camera. You can 
take the camera in and out easily with the quick release adapter and the plate comes with it. So really just a pretty darn good deal. So that's, that's another option. I'm like trying to make this wiggle uh, and just to make sure you understand that it's not perfect. Like if it is in wind, this is probably going to sway back and forth. And in that case, you could just lower it down to its lowest version and the wiggling stops. Now I, I try not to extend each section all the way. That seems to help. Uh, spreading the legs out more seems to help unless you get it really out there. Um, I mean, even this, this monopod kind of wiggles a little bit. It more of like sways. The other one kind of has a little bit higher frequency. Once you get a camera that has a little bit of weight to it, it does tend to sway a little more like this one does. The L bracket, it, I'll leave links to the L bracket. I'll leave links to this tripod head that I love so much. Um, and the Geodos one, or probably the Oban version because it's a little cheaper right now. And this one you can find anywhere, everywhere. I'll leave links to that also. And this is just a cheap... Uh, light stand if uh, one other benefit to to using this system is no matter which one of these heads you get these little ones are super useful for so many things um, this one is a great size I really like this size you're not wasting your money because you're always gonna need some ball heads to position cameras uh, so they're just handy to have and then a light stand, say you go out and you're like, okay, now I can afford a good video monopod. Um, it's not gonna hurt you to have a couple of extra little lightweight light stands. So if you have a little bit extra money, I would I would say probably stick with this head, the, the Colorado head, and maybe get a little bit better quality light stand. Um, that way, as you're moving forward in your cinematography and you need to and, and you can replace this inexpensive system you're not just throwing something away you're actually utilizing it in the way that it was intended when you go out and buy this awesome baby right here all right now i think that's all i have for you guys i love y'all and i hope to see you in the comments bye